Today on Unauthorized Personnel, we're in the outskirts of Pittsburgh to visit the former site of the Beaver Valley Bowl. Built in 1903, the building originally housed the Beaver Valley Brewing Company, which occupied the building from 1905 and closed in 1910. After the closing of the brewing company, the building found multiple uses throughout the next 42 years until finally in the early 1950s, the building was converted into the Beaver Valley Bowl, where it ran from 1953 until 2019. The building hosted multiple occupants, including a company that produced and warehoused swimming pool chemicals. In the summer of 2019, a roof collapsed over one of the pool chemical supply buildings, leading the warehoused chemicals to combust and start a chlorine fire, which released a plume of chlorine gas which hung over the town of Rochester, Pennsylvania for hours while firefighters attempted to control the blaze. When all was said and done, it was determined that the level of damage from the fire as well as water damage and chemical contamination of the area amounted to a total loss. The building was shuttered and abandoned and left to rot with almost everything left behind. The building has been made famous over the years by appearing in multiple movies such as 1996's Kingpin, as well as appearing in TV series such as Netflix's I Am Not Okay With This. I'm joined today by our guest and my good friend, Bill Morris. Both of us have a personal connection to this place as we both used to frequent this place in our younger years. Unfortunately, Cheyenne was unable to make today's trip due to previous obligations, but he will return for future explorations. Join us as we venture inside to see what remains. When this one-time swimming pool supply business erupted in flames on Friday night, it's suspected it was caused by the collapsed roof mixing chemicals stored inside. Firefighters at first didn't realize what they were dealing with, but when they were informed it was swimming pool chemicals. Part of our firefighting tactics that night were to take care and contain the fire. The resulting fire battle helped a chlorine plume to form and prompted a shelter-in-place recommendation. While they took that precaution, the chief tells me despite the smell, their testing equipment never detected threatening levels in the air quality. The fight to contain the fire was also to keep it away from the building next door which contains similar chemicals. Before we get ahead of ourselves, I'd like to take a moment to introduce our guest Urbexer Bill. Uh, pipe insulation, yeah? Oh, the scrappers. Yeah. They came and got all the, yeah. They came and got all the copper pipes. Or they thought that this is copper. And now right. it's just metal. Yeah, that's, those are like steel or something because they're rusted. Yeah, they wasted all their time doing that. Right. Oh, yeah, we're good here. This is ground level. This is all cement. Yeah. Yeah, like you wonder, like why did they, why did they have the place so? Right. I'm trying to figure out if which which way is going to be the the way to get to the that's the yeah so I'm guessing maybe over this way oh yeah so that wall was all the way to the ceiling and that was all mirror that makes sense and I think this is actually when they had bands I think this is kind of like where people collected mm. and it just sat in yeah, yeah, because that wall right there was purpose built. If you've seen the movie Kingpin, you might recognize this next shot. 
This is the shot where Bill Murray and Woody Harrelson are walking up the stairs, and Woody Harrelson asks Bill Murray's character, people actually pay to come here? Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, that was like another one of those little, like, side rooms. Oh, man. Yeah, this is like a little office area. It's like an area. office room, but I think it was kind of like a... For a while, I think this is where people used to come and do their job. Probably. Would not surprise me. There's like a storage room back here with just all sorts of stuff but not a very clear path. We can always stop back. The electric must have been running in here for a while, even when the building was turned off. That's all this brand new. Man, this is really cool. Yeah, this is, this was an old, Bowling alley. old hangout for me, man, whenever I was a teenager. Wow. I remember coming up to this, to this desk and getting my shoes. To the best of my knowledge, this front desk was never really used for the purposes that it was in the movie as a bar. This was always just the front desk that was used for renting out the shoes and for paying for your games. Hey, the bar is still over here too. What's that? Right. Yeah, I mean, who does that? Yeah. He smashed up the TV over there. Yeah, this was all. This was up the inside of the little cigarette machine. All the refrigerators were wide open, but that's a, that's an old bar. Yeah. Oh. It's a shame that uh, this place has been trashed as much as it has. Scotch doubles mix. Oh, that's right. They used to have a railroad track. That's top. Oh, really? Yeah. That used to be a train. Well, I was, I was a teenager, so when I was coming here, so I wasn't uh, in this area so much. But. Kingpin, if you pay attention, the fifth lane over from the left is the lane that they're using the vast majority of the time when they're at the Beaver Valley Bowl. You'll notice the fifth lane because it's the lane that's in the center of the frame right now, and that's the one that I'm focusing on the most. A little bit later in the movie, we see that this is also the same lane where Woody Harrelson's character, Roy Munson, loses his hand in the ball return. When their characters aren't actually bowling, you can see the majority of the time that Bill Murray and Woody Harrelson are sitting in these chairs. And another four lanes over here. Yeah, I think this was when they had the private parties. Uh, okay, I was gonna say like private parties or leagues or... Yeah. Where's that? I don't know what if it is or not. Oh, that's probably maintenance store to get back to the pin setter room. Yeah. What's the date? That's October 21st, 2010. 
right. Yeah, that's that's totally buckled. Yeah, I'm not gonna walk. <laughs> Right. Well, after wiping your balls off, you should wash the rags. No, yeah, they they just pretty much lice all those and called it a day. Um, maybe register tape. Oh yeah. Little wise dumb terminal monitor. Yeah, no kidding. Holy cow. I never knew that they were like that. Me either. Ooh, Credit card the, machine? I wonder how much data still stayed in the cache on that. Probably not much. Probably the only thing left in there is just whatever's on the non volatile RAM. Oh, an elevator. Yeah. But it was never in service. Nobody really used it for no, much. No, it was never in service. Right. A rental. I'll rent them. <laughs> I'll leave my color. I think they're now selling themselves. I wonder, uh. Yeah. I'm amazed that those are actually still up. Somebody yeah. hasn't. hasn't oh like change them around to say all kinds of really off-color things. Do you want to venture up to the pool? I think we should be able to, just from the same stairwell. I don't either. What, a, what the hell is this? This is part of the concert Oh, is it? I don't think I've ever been in this room. And what the hell is back here? Look at this. Yeah. Like, I, this is like a little mini hockey. Like, what's to the left? Frozen floor over there. Yeah, there's like ice all over the floor. Well, it's cold enough. Oh, it's closed. Whoa. This is like theater stuff. Very interesting. An old Just don't fall. mixing board or something back here. Oh my god, that's an old sound design. That's sound design. Yeah, this is a stereo mixing console. Audience suggestion, wall of shame. They did spontaneous note uh, requests for improv. So basically you would like reach into a hat, pull that out, and you would tell whoever's on stage to do whatever. <laughs> Start your period at a nudist colony. Oh, wait, here we go. Wait. Wiener! Peanuts! Thanks. Didn't know what that was. Oh, wow. Is this the pool hall? Um, yeah, it was. <laughs> it was. Yeah, the pool table to turn it on. Holy. Whoa! Okay, now I'm starting to get an idea here. That was where the bands performed. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to get an idea. Now, the bands performed over there. Do you realize how much effort it takes to tip one of these over? <laughs> Maxim. Little hangout area back here. Oh, what the? Another bowling alley. This is older. This is much older. Oh yeah. Major, major art deco. Oh yeah. This is definitely uh... 
all American billboard tables and bowling alleys. That's pretty cool. From Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh PA, PA, too. Pittsburgh. Right. The ball return. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's an upper, it's not underground. Right. It's under four. Right. I, I had no idea this was even here. Neither did I. So this makes me think that there is a third floor now. There might be. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think we've been tripping more of it. Yeah. Quarters only. <laughs> right. <laughs> 75 cents? Yep. What's this? $1.25. Oh my god. I like I don't even remember when cigarettes were a dollar twenty-five. Yeah. Look at that old cash register too. I was, there might be. Then again, maybe not. Yeah, this, that's a, what the hell? Careful with the steps. Yeah. I just want to get a quick glance up here and see. Do not enter. Yeah. There is something up here. Let me, uh. Yeah. This is a jukebox. Fitness and Boxing Club? Did they have a fight club back here? Was this like a fight club thing? The war that I was calling you about? Yeah. That has the hoist. This is... This is more... This is, we're getting more footage. Than a lot of the other people. Oh, this is really weird. Yeah, I just got like a little bad... That bad feeling when it comes to Bad vibes. That part was on the back of the They got lockers over here. Yeah, this is uh This is crazy. Wow. It's hard to tell. A lot of expensive. All this netting and stuff. This netting is expensive. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows what they what they use this for? Oh uh, yeah, that was just that little side off area. I cannot believe how cold it is today. Oh my god. What? Yeah, that's bizarre. Like of all the things that are out of place. Lampus? What is that? Oh. Mm -hmm. Wall construction. Ooh, I like forward. Uh, yeah? Nothing wrong in the back. As we made our way through the building, we were both struck by the unusual level of decay and vandalism that the building has experienced in less than three years since closing. This place was special to both of us back in the day, with many hours having been spent here between the two of us. The Beaver Valley Bowl building has been a landmark for Beaver County, Pennsylvania for over a century. 
We're both sad to know that the building has been slated for demolition, but we will always look back very fondly on the years in which we were able to spend getting together with friends, being entertained, and enjoying friendly competition while passing the time. We hope that you enjoyed spending a little bit of time with us exploring this place, and we look forward to seeing you again on the next episode of Unauthorized Personnel.